Hi, welcome. We've just downloaded this version here. Peppermint 9 2018 0621. So it's a new ISO that's out for Peppermint 9. And we're gonna launch it on this screen, my friend. Try Peppermint out of US OS Live. No, we're gonna install it. Always a better way to see what a system looks like. Okay. Right, so English, right though. English OUS, if it's a keyboard layout, no. Then I'd rather have Belgian. Continue. Mm -hmm. Normal installation, minimal installation. Yeah, updates. That's okay. This selection. Erase everything. All right, fine. The simplest solution is always the best. Russells, that's correct. My name is Eric. And I bet a lot of people already know my password as well. And there we go. We are going to copying the files. It is a little bit too small at this point in time, but this is virtual box. It's not a peppermint issue. All right, I get the urge to eat some sweets now. I don't know why, but they actually do not look, look like uh, peppermint. They look like something uh, quite sweet, actually. Not minty. All right, super fast Linux operating system. Stable, lightweight, it is XFCE, so it is lightweight. But talking about lightweight, think about uh, i3 think about BSPWM why not awesome if lightweight is your thing BSPWM is today my preference okay next slide The choice is ours, luckily. What would happen if I would click on skip? No, it's gone. Can't click here. White, not white. All right. Ice, that's indeed an application to add stuff to your menus. So Peppermint Forum, that's an URL. Where in the menu do you want to have it? So in a category, actually. Internet is a category, and inside this category, in the menu, menu you will see this line, Peppermint Forum, and you select an icon for it, and that's it. It's in your system. The Peppermint Settings Panel. All right, I can click here. Meta packages, networking, graphic arts, restart now. Okay, done reading. Okay, that's better. So VirtualBox knows what we're having. And this is a wallpaper. The menu is whisker menu from XFCE. <coughs> uh, run info, no, no info. <coughs> Sorry. So system, deconf editor, gduck, hate stop, login menu, samba, screen lock, what application would this be? The blur one. That's a nice one. Software manager is GNOME, I suppose. I looked at the websites 
and it's going to be the mint install peppermint software manager but basically what I'm looking at is I think you know software with a change probably they have done lots of work in it but that's my first guess Oh, fantastic the mint stick is here so this is actually an application from mint Linux mint is about to deliver a next ISO I'm waiting for it and an update manager of course that's the Debian one mint update uh -huh. so they're based themselves on parts of mint Okay, so Peppermintos, there is an, the launch pad. Peppermint OS. And I guess some of the stuff is coming from Linux Mint, which is okay. Uh, that's what Linux is all about, sharing and, and developing even further. So we can all have a beautiful system. No, I was going to go to here at the bottom. We've seen it all. Task manager is this one about task manager. So XFCE. All right. Settings. Network blocker. Mm -hmm. Network block dot sh. It's an application uh, script they've put in here. Ah, so it's an easy way to add some of the etc to add some of the urls to block them in the etc hosts so they will not connect to it it saves your bandwidth etc etc that's indeed true do you want to proceed sure choose your preferred ad blocking services so we have different websites that we have here let's see what happens if i take them all and then we go to your system So it's a long list. It comes from the websites, websites who deliver us this service, and all it does is whenever a, 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 a service or an application or a cookie, anything, it wants to connect to these URLs, it says it's this address, it's this IP address, and that's actually your local host. So it does not get out there. It's stuck in your system. Okay. Good thinking. I know quite a few people who use it already. This kind of uh, thinking, it's uh, that's strange. Because, why is that strange? In the sense, because here, aha, uh -huh. um, normally in XFCE settings, you have already a display, this one. So this is the, the, the changing, you can change this in XFC, this is XFC, it's just, I know it's different at all, but it looks like it's an XFC settings panel. And it has a display, and it has it again here, for some reason. A customized look and feel. So that's the choice we have here. And we are here actually to get, to take a look at Look at that. Pepper mix gray, pepper mix pink, red. Nice, right? Let's apply it. So what do we have then? We have then icons. I believe they had Nemo as um, file manager. I thought I read it somewhere. Files. Voila, Nemo, correct. So that means that you need to set the preferences. I do like my preferences in Nemo like this. Close. It means that you can open your terminal inside your and the, the folder you're in. So that's that's nice. Okay. So that's that.
So that's Papyrus for you. Apply. New mix is here. Elementary XFCE. Let's go over them. That's it. We'll take this one. Apply. Okay. So, what else? Oh, that's not a good idea. Let's keep it like this. Additional drivers. Well, that's the menu for uh, that Mint provides, I guess. Peppermint. The Mint updates. Although. Yep, yeah, that's the Mint window. Audio equalizer. QPAEQQ. Don't know, it's an equalizer. Power manager. Pulse audio. Well, I guess it's the same. Yep, that's the same. PA volume network. That's an, the new the idea. Uh, create and delete ICE SSBs. So extra menu items. Some themes. Yep, that's uh, GNOME disks. Good thing. Tweaks. I didn't see tweaks. Reset the panel to defaults, turn on off system sounds, notification settings, editor and software and update settings. Oh, there's that again. And a user, peppermint control thing, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. Those I love always. Give me shortcuts in any system. Oh look, this is the XFCE uh, choices we have in Windows. XFC system windows something like that so these are reorganized in here oh we have themes we should check out the themes all right can we go with the arrow up yes arrow up always a green and a light um, a dark and a light, I mean. It's actually not that bad, default. The default session is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of Arc theme, of course, which is awesome. I do hope that Horst keeps working at it. And if not, that somebody else picks it up again. So let's take this. All right. Customized look and feel is those things. The new mix folder icons. All right, this looks nice. Style one, well, that's just the color always. Can we set it on the fly? Select. Secondary, select. I don't know select and now okay I think I should have applied that's it apply applying please wait while the changes are applied okay let me get Nemo ready files too soon. Kill Nemo. Get Nemo. Must have done something wrong. Still looks the same. Maybe, maybe I should choose the Nemo colors or something. I can theme. New mix. Did I choose choose purple? Might have been I might have chosen purple. <laughs> I don't, don't really recall, just took a color. Oh yeah, I did. I did probably take change style to I don't know. Right? 
apply. Let's wait for it. So anyway, uh, okay, wallpapers. Let's take another wallpaper, apply. Squirrel. No, just give me a sci-fi wallpaper anytime wins always aha uh -huh. so it's indeed on the fly new mix folders have been changed with a nice little script to change the colors there are only a few colors to change there and it's svg so it can be changed at any point in time by the user that's super okay we've seen this and actually the icons were beautiful in the sense with this red wallpaper this will be amazing so that's again the xfc settings which we call in peppermint settings panel okay and we have lock screen switch users let's have a look what the switch users is properties commands switch users is dm tool switch to greeter Okay. And menu Libre. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at all. That's too much all. Accessories. What's a scrot helper? Okay. Oop, I've got already a scrot. Didn't want one, but I have one, so great. Got one already. Task manager. Oh, what terminal is it actually? What terminal is it? Right mouse click. Options, full screen, set tab, name. Options, more options. Doesn't ring a bell what it is so um, Microsoft Excel online that's a good idea then you don't need anything on locally I wonder how they call their htop there was there htop that's htop question is what terminal is this exit panel nemo desktop sakura that's the one so when i say run sakura then i get the same that's sakura so that's their terminal choice of terminal there are so many terminals oh boy i mean i think about 50 too many oops we went in accessories so that's the last one text editor is about set so they're really pulling to the min stuff which is good because well it's been developed it's uh, people working on it so that's good always new stuff oh yeah that's a nice one that's a nice one is actually part of the exam of the students at, in belgium they need to know these elements, these pixel editors. It's a Photoshop online. Let's simply put, that's what it is. It's a Photoshop, as you see, more or less online. Stay page, leave page, leave page. Okay. So we were actually in graphics. Yep, graphics, simple scan, internet. Ice, so we need to figure out the ice later. Skip, Skype, web client, yeah, multimedia. Right, office. So online, 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 online. Google Drive. No, no. Recommend viewer and that settings. Additional drivers, advert blogger. Language support. We're almost done almost everything. So does the panel switch thingy. So yeah, they have their own uh, look, of course, like uh, 
others have too. A theme lock. Don't know what that is. And a firewall to UFM Ward is it again? It's a short name. Four letters. About GUFW, that's it. So that's a standard firewall. All right, pretty much seeing everything. Now we're gonna test. So, how about if we want to install the surfing icons on this system? Oops, duck and duck go. All right, no problem, it finds it. There's also, oh yeah, let's do that. Rather than downloading the zip, let's do a git clone, see if that works. Right mouse click, I can create a new folder, new command, launch that one, okay, that's this. Create a new launcher, change desktop, open in terminal, open as root, desktop, Okay, open in terminal. Is git installed? Git. All right, no. sudo apt install git. Done that. Git clone and done. A long sentence, so control shift V. And that's that. Icons are present, they are in here. And we don't need all the scripts. We just need the icons. Control A, Control C, Home. And then Control H, dot icons, is it created? Yes, great, good thinking. Control V, and bloop, there we go. Now I need to set my icons. So normally I would say I'll do this here. Customize feel, icon theme, and then surfing, 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 rules of surfings. This is a reddish kind of wallpaper. So this is red, surfing love red. And that might be as well nice. Let's take red. Surfing love red. Apply. Close, close, and close. Okay, so the icons should have been, should change. Not all of them will be there because they have really special kind of icons in the sense that peppermint here, peppermint icon, uh, there might be stuff, let's take all. So uh, things are actually looking quite good. Until now, looks all nice. There's not one that I would say I want to have to change this one or that's not a nice one. They're all looking pretty good. But second test, what if we go to source forge and we download Sardi? This time we really need to just download, I accept, blah, 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 you know, download. And we see problems downloading. Oh, Germany is okay, that's not too far away. But do check it out, do, I always check these days where it's coming from. Sometimes it's downloading from, uh, I don't know, thousand kilometers uh, away and it should be a hundred or something like University of Kent, it's, I don't know, 150 kilometers away. And Bulgaria, Bulgaria is about, I don't know, 1,500, 700 away. So yeah, you should take the server that's the nearest to yourself. Extracts here. Done. All the Sardi icons. Okay, Control A. Oops, did not succeed. Control A, Control C. Back to the dot icons here, control V, Boop. 
everything is copy pasted it's 20 folders extra and now we need to change it again i believe there was another way to change icons no customize feel might be something else i've seen no okay customize feel so i can theme um okay sardia i always take sardi mono is a good one or sardi flexible it's all blue and why am i doing this just for the icons everything blah 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 close tabs close tabs everything should be blue this can be deleted everything should be blue so all there we go so i need to make an icon for the advert blocker for 2d 3d chess for the editor by pixlr for entanglement by express by pixlr first person tetris tetris gmail google calendar google drive majung these are all the the links that this ice ice bb i don't know what the name again was something with ice so this one let's click this one so ssb that's the thing a simple ssb manager so it creates icons but of course i mean, links it creates links but it does not um well adhere to the normal well yes and no it points to an icon and if Sardi or the servant icon don't have that icon well you won't see a blue one you will see the one that's created for it. so another link and the easiest way for me to know later on what we need to do as work is go to file system clean up the trash buy trash and then we have a lot of work to do so we go to the user we go to share it's a little bit distance between it it's nemo so it's standard i guess i don't know what version we normally are at nemo 3.6.5 i don't know what the latest is we'll soon know when linux mint the new one is out anyway user share applications that's the one i'm gonna do okay and right mouse click so you know what work kind of work we need to do that is well we can't open it sure we can open with set is this yep so it's pointing to a place and that's best not done because it's gonna be that one ever forever and ever so guys if you could and when for icon builders just don't use this pathway this is a fixed pathway whatever icon theme we choose nemo uh, nemo new mix or papyrus or paper or anything it will always point to that icon it will never ever change so if you would like to have a theme that looks great and all alike all blue in this case okay then we need to get rid of this path this should be gone and even the png should be gone so i'm gonna make an advert advert dash block with a blue kind of look bluish look but we need if you need uh, to get rid of this and get rid of the last one png now there is a solution to get rid of all these hard-coded path and that's not at start peppermintos but that is the hard code fixer and the hard code fixer is from fogalong and if we report all of us together if we report all the download zip this time if we tell to him here what is the issue and we say look it's um it's the peppermintos and we need to change this icon or that icon and then he'll do that if he has the time it's uh, a not a paid service it's just for pleasure hard coded so extract here hard code passenger fix sh what you need to do is open the terminal you need to be sudo to do it and it needs curl so let's see if curl is installed he'll tell you curl is not installed so 
sudo apt install curl. Curl is an application to get something from the net. So again, oops, yep, no, nope, yeah, that's correct. So, oh, only two. So that's a bummer. That means we have a lot of work to do, a lot of hard-coded icon paths are in there. And that means that our, our look will never be, well, perfect. This is all blue, that's fine. Games is none of them blue. Graphics, I need to fix two. Internet, three. Strange that this one is not okay. That's a web, maybe it's a web client thing. Right mouse click, blah, 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 blah. Add the application, there you go. It's the ice thing. So the ice Firefox thing. So I guess when I click on it, it's going to use Firefox. That's what it means, Ice Firefox, okay. This should be normally, should normally have, but this thing, I've never came across this command, so that's why it has no icon. All right, so probably that's the reason. These are all things that are online, so of course there's no icon for it. Ice Firefox. Icon is this one. Let me see. It's not going to be easy to make icons for this distro this way. Why? Hmm. Because all these ice things are not in here. There are no ice references. The things that are in here, uh, this one as well. That's all ice stuff, ice SSB, ice SSB. All these things will not carry an icon. Well, not a blue one. They will carry an icon, but it's strict, it's fixed. I think it is. It is going to be hard pathed, path uh, restricted a way of showing this. And I suppose, suppose it needs to f to set the settings somewhere. SSB, I never looked for it. But it must be somewhere. Here's Linux Mint. Just a folder, Linux Mint. Okay. But it needs to be somewhere, you know. It, it can be in the .config, it can be in the local, in the share. Here is ICE, Firefox. Uh, there are th already things there. Those were the things that I clicked on. So it's putting elements there. But where are the icons? I don't know. That's nothing. And that's nothing. But somewhere there has to be a way to remember, hey, what are the icons here, you know? These are all the Gmail desktop things. So, open with, oops, text editor. So, execute a application, ice Firefox, and go to there. And here we have again a hard-coded path. It's always the problem with the hard-coded path. I can't do anything with it. I can if I do it like this, uh, just say Gmail. Save. And we need to find Gmail. Done now. Eh? Gmail is again blue. Control Z. Save. Gmail. It's again fixed. So this is a fixed icon path. It's going to get that icon. But if you leave us, us the icon developers, the freedom, then you'll, it will follow the icon of your choice, the, the, the theme, icon theme of your choice. So my message to a beautiful distro, pepper, mint, guys, you can fix this. It's just a small intervention. Get rid of the hard-coded paths and let icons, icon themes do it. You have it anyway. You have lots of icon themes in there. 
So we can fix those manually, but of course I will not do it. I cannot do it as a designer. I can only make the icons, but I cannot. So another example, maybe Microsoft Word. Is it in here? Here is Microsoft Word, open with text editor. Okay, user share, lots of things about user share. I don't know if it has an icon actually. I'll soon find out. Save, because it says online, you know? That's why it says, I say, mm -mm, don't think so. So now it doesn't have, it doesn't find a word thingy. So let's see if the icon word is it. Is uh, present. Here is words. So that means home. I don't know all my icons by name. I really don't. So where are the icons? Here. This is Nemo. This is awesome. You use this little button and it says word. Ta da! Everything worth word. So what were we looking for? GNOME word, no K words, no OMG words, passwords, WordPress, word processing, WS, WPS, word. And what's more, you can make it bigger. So control scroll, woo. And then I always do it like this. And then we go so see something that has to do with Microsoft Word. Here it is, MS Word, that's the name, MS-Word. Okay, they're all here, MS Word, MS Word, MS Word. So, MS Word. Save. And we get Word. And we have fixed one of the icons. So yeah, I, I think I made my message. Guys, stop using these hard-coded Pass. Let's continue. So one of them is fixed. So I'll go over them one by one at a later stage and see what I can fix from my side. What I'm missing as icons, like this one. I don't know if it's. Oops. If it's an uh, in here. But I'll take my time, not in this video, I'll take my time to check out anything I can make. And the things I can make is in here. This is all I can do. Is take a look how is this is called, make my own icon for it. How is this, this is not important. This is how this is called, how this is called. So one, two, three. Three icons to make for Peppermint. That's my work in the future. Okay guys. Um, love overall opinion whoa beautiful system take a look at it uh, peppermint is really nice can be themed a lot of things it's also fast because of course it's xfce so it is fast should be fast is fast and i'm gonna make this oh i can't make this bigger i don't think so oh yeah success just wanted to see everything is blue okay so one we've seen that one and on this one, two, okay, two in there and um, one in the applications. So check it out. It's um, of course not Arch, it's uh, Debian based, but uh, shouldn't spoil your appetite or your interest. Interesting way to learn Linux and to explore Linux. So take a look at it. All right, cheers.